California's brand new minimum wage hike has gone into effect and some of these price increases just might shock you. Let's talk about it. How's everybody doing? My name is Anthony Brian Logan and today we got to talk about California raising their minimum wage from $16 an hour to 20 US American cold hard cash dollars per hour for certain fast food establishments. Now, there are certain fast food places like Panera Bread, who are exempt from this law. And I don't really know why. Maybe it's because the largest franchiser of Panera Bread in California just happens to be Gavin Newsom's friend. And he just happened to have given him $164,000 to two campaigns. And they went to the same high school together. Maybe that's the reason. I don't really know. I'm just putting it out there. However, some fast food places will have to pay the brand new $20 an hour minimum wage hike and prices are going to go up. Some are going to say, well, they shouldn't raise prices. Look out for the customer. Well, look, at a certain point, wages just don't come down from the sky. Wages are a real thing that are calculated in a real way. After you pay for your wages, your insurances, your taxes, your food, your Everything, all the expenses in the business, what you have left is a profit. And if one of your expenses goes up so much to where it eats up all your profit, then what are you going to do? Close up shop, work for free, pay money to work at a place, pay money to have a business. It doesn't make any sense at all. Now, before I go any further into it, let's get into a news clip. Then we're going to get into an article that will show you some of these price increases. And of course, I will link to everything I'm talking about right now in the description. If you're on IG, visit the link in the bio, go to the corresponding article on the website. But without further ado, let's go ahead and roll it. And we begin at four with that major minimum wage increase for fast food workers across our area. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Carolyn Johnson. And I'm Lolita Lopez in for Michael Brownlee. Many restaurants are already responding to the wage hike, raising the prices on everything from coffee to burritos to burgers. NBC4's Conan Nolan joins us now from the newsroom with more on what this means. Conan. That's right. Never before has an industry faced a surge in labor costs like this this one. Normally, minimum wage hikes are passed, phased in over time. This was a 25 percent pay hike mm. all at once. And while it was targeted for fast food workers, it is clear the impact will be felt in multiple sectors of the Southern California economy. For fast food workers across California, it was a good day to clock in. Every hour is just $20, so it's like giving you a $20 bill each time you work and stuff. You know, it's going to help us out a lot. This show on Pizza Hut right here, I did a video before about California's minimum wage hike. They fire all their delivery drivers, all of them, in all Pizza Hut locations. So what's going to happen now, if you want your pizza order, it'll be delivered by a third party uber eats or doordash whatever it won't be any actual delivery drivers now the impact of that is these drivers will no longer get a wage from pizza hut they'll rely on whatever they get from the apps that they work for and if you tip them which will most likely be less than what a driver made even under the previous minimum wage the state's landmark minimum wage hike for fast food workers of chains of 60 restaurants and above, rising from 16 to $20 an hour overnight. Lizette Aguilar has worked for McDonald's for 17 years. She says she's eager for that first big paycheck. But for fr 17 years at McDonald's and no English. So at a certain point, like, here's what I'm saying. I'm not trying to clown a lady or anything like that, but people work low pay jobs because that's what they're able to get people shouldn't be rewarded for these low pay jobs and when you raise the minimum wage all you're going to do is make a lateral move you're going to increase the price of goods and services so you think you have more money but you don't because all you did was just promote rapid inflation people are going to say well that always happens abl inflation is regular yes inflation happens but it shouldn't happen, number one. And number two, when it does happen, it's a gradual thing, not a 25% increase in labor overnight. That is just ridiculous. And people are not going to be able to pay that without some dramatic and drastic consequences that are going to affect you, the consumer, more than anything else.
Franchise owners, the dramatic surge in labor costs, including payroll taxes and workers' compensation insurance, is a nightmare. Michaela Mendelson owns six El Pollo local franchises, four in L.A. County, two in Ventura. My average store will go up $180,000 a year. What am I looking at right here? What am, what am I seeing right here? Like, I'm, I'm seeing one thing, but I'm hearing something else. I don't know what's going on, but I'm going to keep on going. Let's just hear what this person has to say. But I was just really thrown off by the appearance in the voice. Let's go back and hear it from the beginning. Michaela Mendelson owns six El Pollo local franchises, four in L.A. County, two in Ventura. My average store will go up $180,000 a year. Uh, I'm, as of today, I'm well, Conan, I'm well into the red. We're losing money. As with other franchise owners across the state, Mendelson says prices will need to rise. Kiosks went up last week. I think AI in the more long term, maybe by later next year, will be in the drive throughs And uh, you won't know if you're talking to a robot or a person. Elsewhere, there's confusion as to which restaurants are covered in the new law. Gabriella Campbell owns a Handel's ice cream franchise in L.A. She asked the author of the bill, Assemblyman Chris Holden of Pasadena, if her store was included in the mandatory minimum wage hike. She says he told her to talk to the group that wrote the law, the Service Employees International Union. Upon further contact with SEIU, they also decided that their scope was very limited and most likely would not be able to carve out an exemption for us so that we would probably need to write our own bill. It may not matter. While the new labor union written law targets fast food workers, it will impact wages in all sectors of the economy in need of low skilled help. That's that is correct. Absolutely. That's according to economist Alan Jin of the University of San Diego. Because uh, the labor market's competitive. Uh, it's still a tight labor market. Companies are having difficulty finding employees. And so if, if fast food is paying $20 an hour, uh, other restaurants are probably going to have to uh, at least match that. They're going to have to match it exactly because, okay, if I can go work at McDonald's and get paid 20 and get enough hours to make X amount of money, but you as a regular restaurant and offering me 18 or 16, or whatever it is, and the, the, the math ain't really matching. Now I got to raise my prices up. And if I have to raise my prices up or raise my wages, I got to raise my prices too. So that's going to create a bunch of inflation. And if you're just going out there getting goods and services anywhere, you're going to feel the sting. Even at a convenience store or grocery store, it'd be all over the place. So you're already facing very high prices in the country right now due to inflation, money printing, things of this nature. But you're going to face it even more in a place like California with this wage increase. That in order to retain their employees and then people outside the restaurant industry will probably have to uh, up their wages. We made multiple requests to interview Chris Holden, the assemblyman who authored the bill, but later on said he was not part of the negotiations. Our sister station in Sacramento, the state capital, KCRA-TV, is reporting that during those negotiations, the Service Employees International Union required everyone who engaged in those talks to sign a non-disclosure agreement. I'm oh, boy. <laughs> Conan Nolan, NBC. So there we go. Now, let's look at some of these price increases, shall we? This is going to be New York Post. Let's look at some of these price increases because that is going to be, you know, that, that'll tell you all you need to know right there. Okay, so check it out. The post check menus at several restaurants in a Los Angeles area to see if the costs are already being passed on to consumers with mixed results. The biggest leap was at Burger King, where a Texas double whopper meal cost $15.09, which is already crazy high on March 29th, but surged to $16.89. A whopping increase of $1.80, nearly 12% for the same meal. And I think it might be the preliminary raise. You're going to see a double whopper meal cost $20. $20. Burger King, McDonald's, etc. are no longer considered affordable. $20? That's crazy. I mean, listen. You might as well cook at home. People say that it's expensive to eat healthy. I, I can't tell. $20 for a Whopper meal. That's that's just out of this world. Out of this world. Okay, let's let's keep on going here. The Big Fish meal also jumped from $7.49 on the menu before April 1st to 
and 49 cents after an increase of four dollars 53 percent most other items increase anywhere from 25 cents to a dollar and you already have really high costs i went to mcdonald's recently don't judge me but i did go all i got was a chicken sandwich i think it was a spicy deluxe chicken sandwich in the medium fry no drink that was almost ten dollars i think it was like nine dollars and some change between nine and ten dollars for a chicken sandwich and the medium fry. I mean, back in my day, here's an old man shakes fist at cloud. Back in my day, the dollar menu was a thing. You could get a chicken sandwich and a fry for less than three dollars. But now those things are those things are gone. Yes, I know it was a dollar menu chicken sandwich, which is different than the spicy deluxe, but still. Two dollars and change versus nine dollars and change. I mean, come on. Now let's let's keep on going. Burger King was not alone at Hart House, the fast food chain founded by actor Kevin Hart. Prices increased to twenty five percent before the law was enacted. A large fry cost four, huh? Four four dollars for a large fry. Before the law was enacted, large fries cost four forty nine on April first. That price went up to five ninety nine. Milkshakes of all sizes increased by one dollar, while most sandwiches went up by fifty cents each at nearly at a nearby In and Out Burger. Prices price hikes are more modest. Burgers went up about twenty five cents, while sodas increased by a nickel. That'd be progressive. Like they're going to raise prices one way right now, then it'll keep going up. The price increases got mixed reviews from customers on Monday. "Quote: It's such a nominal increase," said Sean Fields Forty, who was buying lunch at In and Out. It seems like a reasonable amount, but yeah, that's 25 cents. But not everyone agreed. Quote, to be honest, I don't like it because then everything else goes up. Exactly. Ava Moreno, who was buying a meal at Burger King, told the post, quote, these people have to make a living one way or another, but then the restaurants have to up their prices. Exactly. So all you're going to do as I close is just see prices go up all over, all across the board to pay for the wage hike. So you've not really helped yourself. They're going to raise prices and reduce hours, reduce labor. You heard the individual, I don't know what to call the person, talking about, well, look, you might pull up to the drive through in a year, and you won't know if it's a robot talking at you or a regular person. We're going to have AI. We're going to have kiosks. We're going to replace human labor. We're going to up the cost of things. So you may have had a job working, getting paid 16 and buying things for X amount. Now you have no job. And you're buying things for Y amount. So although you got a quote unquote raise, in essence, you are in a worse place. For what? As I close, I want to say this. The government shouldn't be in the business of setting wages. Stay out of it. Whatever I want to accept and whatever they want to offer, that's between myself and the employer. That's it. Okay? That's, that's all it is. Forced labor, things of this nature is a different story. If I say I consent and they say they consent and we agree to get paid, that should be what it is. I'd be really upset if I had a job making 16 an hour and then I got fired because they wanted to raise my wages. Now I have no money versus my prior income. I'd be really upset, but I think I'll leave that right there for now. And what say you? What's your take on California raising the fast food minimum wage from 16 to 20 is it a good idea, bad idea, whatever your thoughts are, let me know in the comments below. You guys know where I'm at. This is a 100% bad idea. And as the prices keep going up and up and up and the jobs in the sector keep going down and down and down, at a certain point, people may learn, although this has happened before, the same thing of prices going up, jobs being lost. Maybe when there's no more employees at these places and it's only robots, maybe at that point we'll start to smarten up. But whatever your thoughts are, please let me know in the comments below. And that's all I got to say for this video. If you like what you heard, please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. Peace.